do you, with the rise of people power politics, do you foresee in a, in the future, like a third party candidate ever getting a nom like a substantial nomination for president or even like senator or something because of people power, like because of people who are so backing them, or do you think that it's always going to be like a Democrat and a Republican? Cause, like I'm thinking of Ron Paul, like his people are very yeah. supportive of him, but he got what 11 delegates, so it's like people can be very behind a candidate if it's not, like, unless they're a Democrat or a Republican, they yeah. haven't seen successful or something. <laughs> yeah, Ron Paul was unbelievable amounts of money, and he didn't really seem to have a lot of pull at, you know, when it came down to actual voting. I don't, you know, who knows where this thing's going to go. Um, I, I think it does. The Internet obviously um, pre prevents, presents the opportunity for any, any, any number of different candidates to appear with or without party backing, and um, I think that situation you know, say, would stay with us for some time, and I don't know necessarily that it would benefit a, a, a formation of a, a third party, but certainly like individual candidates, individual candidacies um, would have, would have uh, um, the potential to develop. But I, I think there's, there's probably, in my mind, you know, I know I might be wrong about this, but I, I, I tend to believe, though, that the, the differences between conservatives and progressives are so, so strong and so deep that the divide is just too big that one side would, you know, uh, that, w that a group of people could m move out of one group or the other without totally decimating out that group. That, you know, we're at like, I believe we're at a point in this country where it's, you know, and I, I think, I guess the analogy I would look at is like back in the, you know, following the Civil War, when, when the partisanship was very, very deep in this country and it, and it wound up, you know, playing out in many close elections before um, the realignment happened with, with uh, McKinley in 1896, that, you know, brought it, brought it up, mostly progress, uh, conservative rule of this country for, for a number of decades. And um, I think we're probably in a similar situation now where it's like going to be like this, you know, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until one party wins. And once that one party wins and, you know, the whole country sort of slides in that direction, then you might have like, you know, split off or a so Right now, I just don't see it. I think we're in a situation where it's like, you know, both parties have such strong ideological differences and, and polls in which way they want the country to go, and it's going to go one way or the other.